How's it going guys, Zeta here. So I wanted to discuss regarding of the last few days that we have received from two big particular games reviews. Now Rise of the Ronin received the reviews today and they're not exactly the most positive but they are quite mixed. Some people enjoying it a lot of times that they've been playing through this game and of course some others well they just simply did not enjoy it. Now Dragon's Dogma 2 also received some reviews I believe it was yesterday and it's a similar case but I would say it's far more on a positive side. Now, in terms of the Dragon's Dogma 2, a lot of people say it's a fantastic game, the combat is fun, and it can be hard at times as well, uh, even though there are some things that we have to consider that Dragon's Dogma 2 is actually a game that genuinely likes to suck up your time, to the point that just, well, it's not even considerate, and it's not exactly uh, nice about it as well. So it doesn't care if you got other things to do in life, so you have to invest your time into it. Now it really depends on the player and what sort of player that you like to be playing these sorts of games, what you like to see within these games as well. Do you like to invest your time into them for long, long hours? Or do you like to play maybe one hour at a at time? If you, if you do so play only one hour at a time, Dragon's Dogma 2 is not a game for me, for you, so just be aware of that. There's some issues as well, for example, the bugginess on the PlayStation 5 at least, the version. Well, I have heard there's some problems on the uh, PC as well and Xbox. And the variability uh, issues and uh, big due to the uncapped frame rate that it's got going for. Now, also regarding that, uh, the good parts, like I mentioned, it's incredibly fluid combat. A lot of people like the world that's within the Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, constantly, there's some new things to discover, so it makes it kind of intriguing and. Uh, well, kind of mysterious as well in a lot of cases. A lot of people made a little bit of a comparison between Elden Ring in terms of the open world, so that's actually very good news. But yet, after when we look at the Rise of the Ronin, and since both of these games are coming out pretty much, well, not pretty much, but are coming out on the same day, tomorrow, 22nd of March, 2024, like a lot of people are definitely going to be making these sorts of comparisons. And by these two big games, well, obviously Dragon's Dogma is the better option. Now, Rise of the Ronin, in terms of the pros and cons, like a lot of people say, weapons and stances are have a lot of varieties and people like them. Combat still is fun despite some of the issues that it has got going for, but they're not really bad things to say. But even though combat is kind of toned down comparing to Neo and Neo 2 and Wulong, but still is very much fun, a lot of people have mentioned. But unfortunately, there's quite a bad things related to the choices that Team Ninja has made for uh, Rise of the Ronin, for example, stale open world, story is a complete fucking mess, uh, limited multiplayer, it's just like, what was what did this kind of decision made, uh, performance is awful, and even though the, the world itself and how the game is in terms of the visuals, well, it's not exactly beauty, it's not at all. I even made a video about that saying that the game looks like, well, PlayStation 3 game, perhaps like PlayStation 3 game that was remastered and not very done, well, right. And I got a lot of flack for that, but it seems like I was, well, kind of right, in fact. But anyway, but yeah, uh, it looks like if you want to experience the game and you can actually play one hour at the, t at the time, Rise of the Ronin is a better game in that case. Dragon's Dogma, you have to invest your time into it. Now, Dragon's Dogma has its own problems as well. Like I said, it's a slow burn. And if you're playing the game for like five hours, seven hours, I was uh, listening to a lot of reviews that I trust and just they even saying it, I put in 10 hours of t my time into Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm not liking this game. Like how much longer do I have to keep playing until I finally clicks for me so I'll actually be able to invest my time and actually genuinely enjoying it. And so it's just like I'm just thinking, wait, 10 hours is such a long time and yet you still do not like it. Maybe it's already kind of indication that you won't like it. And be because Dragon's Dogma, the way the decision has been made, the design is such a slow burn kind of makes it in intriguing why continue playing it though just to find that hook and if you cannot find a hook within 10 hours that's not a good sign but yet you know rise of the ronin you should be able to find that hook within an hour if you don't well it's already pretty much given it's the same thing as the ubisoft title more of the same open world there's nothing really innovative or broadening broadening in terms of the game that it's got for it's genuinely kind of sucks unfortunately and as such just you know, you will be, everyone, I'm sure, myself included, had a lot of expectations for both these games to be and perform well. 
But yeah, when they announced both these games coming out the same day, that's just like, oh my god, do I really have to make a choice of between the two? A lot of people are now gonna definitely go with the Dragon's Dogma 2. But yeah, after looking more into it and by the comparisons, it seems like both of these games got issues of them of their own. Now, if you make a strict comparison between the two, obviously Dragon's Dogma 2 takes it, definitely, being a better game. But again, it really depends what kind of sort of a title that you like and what kind of games that you play. For example, if you like Red Dead Redemption 2, if you like Death Stranding, right, it's a very slow burn type of game. I love those games. Now, I'm worried that Dragon's Dogma 2 uh, may not be for me because I am considering picking it up, but I'm not yet too sure. But yet, it's just... I don't know if I will like it, that's what I'm worried about. Rise of the Ronin, it's more of the game that we have already seen. Ubisoft titles, Assassin's Creed style games, it's nothing really new there. But yet, you know, I'm kind of confident that at least I will definitely play it and finish it. But yet I'm gonna say again and again that oh my god, what did I play here? It's, well, it's not good, it's not a very good game unfortunately. And a lot of people say just don't, like, don't put in your time into this game, into Rise of the Ronin, it really sucks. Now, I'm quite surprised to shock and shocked to see that some people actually gave it a lot of praise to Rise of the Ronin as well. And I'm just like, wait, really? Really? Like, it's just something is going on there that I'm not exactly uh, confident to say that something could be behind the scenes that we're not aware of in terms of the Rise of the Ronin. And being that it's a PlayStation game and they even slapped a PlayStation Studio logo on that, oh, that's not a good look. It really is not. Ah, man. Dragon's Dogma 2 or Rise of the Ronin, what choice would you make? In this case that I'm looking through and, you know, like I said, with comparison, Dragon's Dogma 2 is the one that takes it. But it genuinely is kind of unfortunate that both of these games had so much potential. And yet, it doesn't seem like they truly met. But I'll say that Dragon's Dogma 2 is definitely the game that definitely met that kind of expectations from many, especially those that loved Dragon's Dogma 1. And yeah, even though a newcomer such as myself, I'm worried that I may not like or enjoy Dragon's Dogma 2, but I shouldn't say that. I should judge a, I should not judge a book by its cover. In fact, I should play the game, experience it for myself, then I should judge it. But of course, I'm still a little bit worried. <laughs> anyway, guys, I just want to have a little bit of discussion regarding these two games. You know, initially I thought of making uh, two you know, different videos specifically on one title, but then I decided against it since both of these games coming out on the same day, it's just gonna be convoluting a whole thing. And I kinda wanted to make a, a video of combining both of these games more or less. Not really a comparison between the two, but, but, but the comparison between the reviews of these two games. Because, well, like these two games coming out both same day, 22nd of March. Like what was the process thinking there? Seriously, Rise of the Ronin. Seriously, needed to be pushed to me. I don't know why they didn't do that. I kind of understand the shareholders and also the timing. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys all and have a wonderful day.